Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to create a contact form in Azure. Okay, so now let's get started. I will open the Azure project. I'm clicking on. So now here I'm going to create a new page. Okay, and then I will name it a contact. Rename contact. Dot. Okay, something like this. Yeah. I double click on this one to open the press. Okay. And on this page, I'm going to have to create a sub form. Okay. So here I will I will have a heading. I will name it a contact us. Okay, and then I will go into create the form for this. I have some label. I will create the name, email. Uh, address check mm, question A department and at the end I have a agree button it should be in a checkbox I will tie in here a check box. This will be I agree with the term and condition or something like this. Okay. At the end, I have a button, submit button. Meet. Okay, so now here for the name, I will be using the tag box. I make this one the bigger and I scroll down to the form section. I have a tag view. Okay, email address, the tag view as well. Address, tag view. And the sec, I will be using the radio option. Radio, male, female. <coughs> okay. And just for the question, I will be using the tech area because I want, because. In the question, I allow the user to add the multiple row here. So I will be using the tag area. And for the department, I'm going to use the drop down list. Okay. Drop down list. I double, cl double click on this one to add the, the values for drop down list. I click on the add new button here. I change the name. So I will send the question to uh, IT, IT department or uh, will be the shell. The customer service or uh, accounting department blah blah here okay good for this one make it bigger okay
for the search and I have a male and female so I need to group it in one group I right click on this one and group okay so here I save it and try to run it run this one okay so this is the contact out page male female okay so now here when the user click on male the the text in the female will be this will be clear as why when the user click on female the text in male will be clear as well so now here back to the azure let me see I have a, a radio group group name I will be enter is either set group okay save it I'll run it again for testing male female mm. Let me ungroup this one first, and for now is a radio group. Okay. Okay. It work. So here. When the user click on submit button, I want to be display the layout, the overlay pop up here, which will be said that uh, thank you for submit the, 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 the query or something like that. Okay, I will back to Azure. Mm. I have a Take up. I'll be using a bump. And I will use the dynamic dynamic panel. Okay. In that, I double click on this one to open the state of the dynamic panel and I will also open the outline here you can see this is the state of the dynamic panel this is the state one okay in the dynamic state one here I'm going to add some the content I will could be as the text or label I will be up as the paragraph thank you for the query we will check and get back, back to you soon okay you do some the style styling for this one make the phone size bigger okay So here on this check uh, on this pop up, I will be and I will have a glow button on the top. I will be using the button. Edit the text. Okay. I save it and close this one. For the dynamic panel, I will enter the name for this one is uh, Thank You Panel. Okay, save it. And I have a box here. It will be using at uh, the, the, the background for this dynamic panel. So I will move it on here. 
Seu próprio Big Gun. Ok. And I will find some color for the box. It will be the gray or the okay something like this. Mm, no, no, not good. Okay, save it. Let me run it and see it on the bed. Yes, okay. I add some event for this. When the user click on submit button here, I add some the interaction for it. New interaction, and I will be select the event. E click or tap. Okay. Move. And I will select the thank you panel. Okay. I will select some the. Uh, I will move it to the coordinates A fifty and five hundred. Okay. Okay, button. And I add more action here. I will be set panel state. Okay. Thank you, panel. In this is the state one and I select more option. You want to select something here? You can check it. So here I will leave it by default. And OK. Add more action. And then I will select the show and high with this action. Okay. I will select the state one. Oh, thank you, panel. Okay. I will make this one is so. Okay. Yeah, so now here I will by default when the bed is loading, so this will be hidden. Let me see it. Okay, so you see in the outline, got outline G here, the rectangle. Rectangle is the background for state one. So it should be added into underneath, underneath of the state one. For now, it, it is outside of state one. I need to reorder it. Okay, and then I select the state or uh, thank you panel. I back to the style here in the location and side on the right hand. I have a hidden option. Okay, set. I run it again for testing. Okay, you scroll down here. So when you scroll down the the, the, the text box and the uh, and the message will be hidden. So here, when I click on lock a submit button here, it will be displaying the pop up message. Yeah. Close this one. Yeah. So now, when the user click on close button here, it should be close it pop up and refresh this bit. I will do some configuration. I will click on this one and click on the glow button here. Interaction. I click on new interaction. Click or tap. Yeah. This will open a link. And then I will select the contact of pet. Okay. Okay. Set. I click on preview button here to view the detail. Submit. Click on close button here. Yeah. Submit again. Close this one. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to um, create the contact us pet. On this contact us page, you know how to create some the, 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 the control for the form. We have a text box 
uh, radio option, the text area, the drop down list, the checkbox, and the submit button. Okay, I hope this video will have fun for you. And let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye, and thank you for watching. See you later.